Hello, my name is Danny Anderson. Today I thought I'd talk to you about something that uh, I deal with all the time here in Houston, Houston, Texas. Um, I have a coon dog and also a ch chocolate Labrador that love to spend a lot of time in the house. Uh, one of them jumps the fence too often, so they spend a good bit of time in the house. But during the winter time around here, we don't have enough. The weather doesn't get cold enough to kill the mosquitoes or the fleas. So I'm constantly having to wash the dogs. I've tried about everything that I could possibly think of, uh, you know, all the stuff you squirt down their back and uh, all the different collars and everything you can probably think of, the same things that I've thought of. But uh, one day I decided that uh, I was going to try something different. And I wound up, uh, I always use PERT conditioner and shampoo and I've been using it for a long time. And uh, anyway, I kind of was given some thought to it because Duke, my chocolate Labrador has some of the shiniest fur I've ever seen on a dog, a chocolate Labrador. And uh, I'd had a, a black and tan coon dog. Later, I'd uh, wind up getting another dog after the black and tan coon dog died, and I'd bought, uh, well, I didn't buy it, but I actually went over to the, the uh, dog pound and picked up another coon dog. And uh, anyway, probably for the past, I would guess, uh, probably three years, I've been using perk shampoo and conditioner on my dogs and to my surprise the first time that I'd washed the coon dogs they have short hair of course they had a lot of fleas crawling on, on their stomach and uh, surprisingly as soon as I put the perk shampoo on them it killed all the fleas I'm talking almost like instantly I don't know what it is in perk that kills fleas but uh, to be honest with you it works very very well uh, you know, fleas are going to jump back on them. There's nothing I still don't think that'll continue to keep the fleas off of them. But uh, the one thing about using uh, PERT, actually several things about using PERT that draws me to it. One, the price of over-the-counter um, supplies or shampoos for pets nowadays is just ridiculous. And honestly, the uh, PERT shampoo, I'll get a, a big bottle of it for about probably I don't know, four or five bucks compared to 10 or 12, 14 bucks for a bottle of, you know, this wonderful dog shampoo that's supposed to condition and kill fleas for an extended period of time and all that. And then uh, it doesn't work. You know, I've got carpet stuff and everything I've tried, it's not really been very successful. So, anyway, um, one, when, you know, most people might would question, well, what, if, you know, using uh, human. Uh, shampoo and conditioner on a dog is going to be bad for them or something. It's not really true. The conditioner, um, you know, does really well on their fur. Uh, so if you have a dog that has uh, scaling or we'll call it dandruff, of course you know that uh, PERT has a wide selection of different types of shampoos for oily hair, for dry hair, for brutal hair, any kind of, uh, you know, condition that a person could have obviously a dog could have also so I would suggest uh, experiment a little bit I think you'll really be surprised um, and like I said it's not harmed either one of my dogs in any kind of a way it's a lot less expensive kills the fleas like I said on contact plus also it gives them a really shiny coat and also a really uh, soft coat and of course you know the smell is really uh, is really good so anyway, they last, like I said, for about a week. I'll wash them once a week and, uh, you know, keeps the smell down on the carpets and keeps the dogs happy and keeps the fleas off the dogs. So I hope this bit of information has been useful to you. And uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to some of my other videos. Uh, dogs and pet stuff isn't really one of my biggest things, but I am a, a big deer hunter, duck hunter, goose hunter, dove hunter, you know, and uh, spend a lot of time with my dogs, and you know, I like to make sure they're not miserable. So anyway, um, if you'd like to ask some other questions or something, just leave them at the bottom of the page, and um, feel free to ask me anything you might like to ask. Uh, I'm going to continue making some videos on uh, several different topics, so you know, take the time, browse around. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, look forward to seeing you again.